O Lord, open thou our lips. O God, make speed to save us.
Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord of hosts, glean thoroughly as a vine, the remnant of Israel, like a grape gatherer, pass your hand again over its branches. To whom shall I speak and give warning that they may hear? See, their ears are closed, they cannot listen. The word of the Lord is to them an object of scorn, they take no pleasure in it. But I am full of the wrath of the Lord. I am weary of holding it in. Pour it out on the children in the street and on the gatherings of young men as well. Both husband and wife shall be taken, the old folk and the very aged. Their houses shall be turned over to others, their fields and wives together. For I will stretch out my hand against the inhabitants of the land, says the Lord. For from the least to the greatest of them, everyone is greedy for unjust gain. And from the prophet to the priest, everyone deals falsely. They have treated the wound of my people carelessly, saying, peace, peace, when there is no peace. They have acted shamefully, they have committed abomination. Yet they were not ashamed, they did not show how to blush. Therefore, they shall fall among those who fall. At the time I punish them, 
they shall be overthrown, says the Lord. Here ends the reading.
A reading from the Gospel according to Mark. Jesus and his disciples came to the other side of the sea, to the country of Gerasenes. And when he had stepped out of the boat, immediately a man out of the tombs with an unclean spirit met him. He lived among the tombs, and no one could restrain him any more, even with a chain. For he had often been restrained with shackles and chains, but the chains he wrenched apart, and the shackles he broke in pieces. And no one had the strength to subdue him. Night and day among the tombs and on the mountains, he was always howling and bruising himself with stones. When he saw Jesus from a distance, he ran and bowed down before him, and he shouted at the top of his voice, What have you to do with me, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? I adjure you by God, do not torment me. For he had said to him, Come out of the man, you unclean spirit. Then Jesus asked him, What is your name? He replied, My name is Legion, for we are many. He begged him earnestly not to send them out of the country. Now there on the hillside a great herd of swine was feeding, and the unclean spirits begged him, Send us into the swine, let us enter them. So he gave them permission, and the unclean spirits came out and entered the swine, and the herd, numbering about 2,000, rushed down the steep bank into the sea and were drowned in the sea. The swine herds ran off and told it in the city and in the country. Then people came to see what it was that had happened. They came to Jesus and saw the demoniac sitting there, clothed and in his right mind, the very man who had had the legion, and they were afraid. Those who had seen what had happened to the demoniac and to the swine reported it. Then they began to beg Jesus to leave their neighborhood. As he was getting into the boat, the man who had been possessed by the demons begged him that he might be with him. But Jesus refused and said to him, Go home to your friends and tell them how much the Lord has done for you and what mercy he has shown you. And he went away and began to proclaim in the Decapolis how much Jesus had done for him, and everyone was amazed. Here ends the reading.
I believe in God, the Father Almighty. Righteousness. O Lord, save thy people. Give peace in our time, O Lord. within us. Almighty God, you know that we have no power in ourselves to help ourselves. Keep us both inwardly in our bodies 
and inwardly in our souls, that we may be defended from all adversities which may happen to the body and from all evil thoughts which may assault and hurt the soul. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Most holy God, the source of all good desires, all right judgment, and all just works, give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, so that our minds may be fixed on the doing of your will, and that we, being delivered from the fear of all enemies, may live in peace and quietness. Through the mercies of Christ Jesus, our Savior. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ, give rest to the weary, bless the dying soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joy us, and all for your love's sake.
On this third Sunday in Lent, I bid your prayers of thanksgiving for the lives of all who bear witness to the love of God in their houses of worship. In the Anglican cycle of prayer, we give thanks today for our brothers and sisters in the province of the Anglican Church of Congo. In the diocesan cycle of prayer, we ask God's blessings upon the people of All Saints Bellevue and Holy Apostles Bellevue. In the cathedral cycle of prayer, we pray for all those involved in the ministries of flowers, greeters, lectors and intercessors, Tuesday Bible study, the Bible study for parents, wisdom school, visual arts ministry, and the ministry of worsted wool. Let us pray for the human family of which we are a part using a collect written by the Reverend Dr. William Barber of the Poor People's Campaign. Gracious God, source of all wisdom and grace, may we who are merely inconvenienced remember those whose lives are at stake. May we who have no risk factors remember those most vulnerable. May we who have the luxury of working from home remember those who must choose between preserving their health and making their rent. May we who have the flexibility to care for our children when their schools close remember those who have no options. May we who have to cancel our trips remember those who have no safe place to go. May we who are losing our margin money in the tumult of the economic market remember those who have no margin at all. May we who find safe haven at home remember those who have no home. And during this time when we may not be able to physically wrap our arms around each other, let us yet find ways to be the loving embrace of God to our neighbors. We ask it all in your holy name, O God. Amen. And we pray for the safety of returning students, teachers, and staff to school during a pandemic. Holy One, you have blessed us with the joy and care of children. Accept our prayers for them and all educators as they return to school. Bestow on those in authority grace and wisdom to make right decisions for the benefit of those they serve. Protect everyone as times and routines change once more. Strengthen the weary, arouse the careless, shield the afflicted, and help us to honor one another on the journey. In it all, may we fund and sustain schools in this land that afford equal opportunity to learn and thrive in safe and life-giving ways, while also teaching children to love whatever is just and true and good. Through Jesus Christ, the one who celebrated the spiritual wisdom of children. Amen. I invite you to join in saying the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages.
grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen.